I'm here to talk a little bit about the Aerostitch lightweight portable bag uh, and to tell a little bit about it in detail. Uh, the idea for this bag was suggested about five or six years ago by a customer of ours named Mark Lindemann. He wanted a bag that he could stuff under the saddle of his bike or behind the nacelle of his headlight so that when he stopped at the grocery store or for an errand, he could open it up and uh, carry more stuff without, on his person without having to deal with saddlebags or the insecurity of trying to figure out how to bungee a grocery bag or something onto the back of his bike. This is what it looks like when you, when you receive it. And I'm going to open it up and show you in detail what it's like. This is the, what makes this bag special. What makes this bag unique is, in, a, in one word, quality. There's a lot of bags like these that they give away at trade shows. You can buy inexpensively priced and low quality versions of these bags at the checkouts of every supermarket in the world. Uh, we wanted one that would last a little longer and had a few more features. The fabric is a siliconized nylon and if you can get very tight it has a drawstring around the top and if you get very very tight you can see that the handle has a little bar tack here and a little bar tack here so it's strong. On the inside there's if you take a look at the edges where the drawstrings come through, you see how nicely bar tapped they are here. This binding is nice. This fabric is a siliconized uh, waterproof nylon that's very light. The webbing is a nice quality webbing. In the lower corners, there's a little triangular cordura piece with a, an adjustable cord lock. These uh, drawstrings form shoulder straps if you choose to wear it as a backpack. The, the quality of the detailing of this bag is what separates it from the $2 version of this bag that you'll find at a grocery store checkout or that they're giving away as you enter a trade show or a circus or some sort of an event like that. The design has one pocket and this interior pocket is where you might put your bike keys or something. So the, the one pocket that's in here is intended to stuff the entire uh, bag inside pretty quickly and easily. Um, so that you can carry it and have it ready whenever you need it for extra uh, capacity. Some grocery stores give you two cents off or something when you're done, but this makes a very, almost a wallet sized flat package that you can put in a pocket of your jacket or in any, anywhere of what your daily regular carry is or stuff under your bike. Um, when this backpack here is sort of my daily carry backpack and I've got a little carabiner here with a bicycle lock on it, a garage door opener. This is an arrow stitch pouch which holds a cell phone if I want. Um, and um, I carry this backpack went back and forth to work on a bicycle or um, on a motorcycle pretty much every day. And in the outer top pocket, along with some earplugs and a couple of other items, is one of these lightweight portable bags. And this particular one is one of the prototypes. It's probably five or six years old. It gets taken out of this pack somewhere between once a week and once a month. And I tear, I, I tear it open like this at a grocery store while they're ringing me out. And then they fill it. And what I choose to do with mine, often after it's been filled, is I'll draw the drawstrings around the groceries that are in it and I'll take the two handles and the two drawstrings and I'll ride home with some groceries in front of my left knee 
riding like this. I won't even bother to use its, its backpack purpose. I'll just ride with it like this. And I'll have uh, milk and bread and the daily things in here. And then when I get to home, I stuff it back into its bag and put it back in here and it's ready for the next trip. Um, it's the details that make the difference in these bags, the quality of the construction, the straightforwardness of the design. Um, I think it's an essential piece of everyday riding equipment made differently than the giveaway ones you, you can collect at a trade show, and made better than the ones you can buy at a grocery store. Uh, there's another video on, the, on this site that shows a trip to the grocery store uh, and how it actually works out, but if you look closely at these details, you'll see this is a better version, more refined and more carefully made of better materials than the typical one of these bags. And they do last, as this one shows, for years. This one's probably five, six years old or seven maybe. Uh, that's all I got. Hope you'll give one a try um, and good riding. <laughs>